What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking about art commissions and how to get your first art commission. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, first things first. In order to get your first commission, you have to get recognized by someone. So, I have some good news and some bad news for you. Recognition is hard since it doesn't rely only on your art skills. You have to have other skills too, which are marketing skills and communication skills. And how do these things work together is actually the key, because they are all connected. In order to market your product, you need to have a product, which is a good portfolio. And that means improving your art skills to the point of recognition and again means practicing a lot and being consistent with it being consistent with uploading your art is a crucial key because people care a lot about stories they want to see by themselves how you improved and to what point and that will require some effort to achieve but eventually it pays off so it is having those skills and being consistent with your art. And what also helps a lot to get recognized is working on your strengths points, even more than your weaknesses. And I'll explain why. People who get others to make art for them, most of the time they care about something you provide within your art. As an example, I was not too consistent when it comes to uploading but when I did, I got some people talking about my lion art, getting interesting, and that I have improved my lion art skills by much. They didn't talk about my anatomy or poses or whatever. They specified a certain thing. We are not masters, so not everything going to be perfect, but maybe you deliver a vibe to people that they can vibe with. So what did I do? I stayed more time trying to get better and better on sketching till I got to a point that people said whenever I upload that they recognized my art in an instance. And that for me was like the milestone. And for you to know, my first commission was a sketch of for someone who asked me to draw a mushroom. Yeah, and believe it or not, I felt so happy and also loaded with joy and pressure to deliver. So, if what draws others' attention to your art is being cute, colorful, unique on its own way, you gotta work on your strengths and make it even stronger. And on the process, also work on your weaknesses to even provide more quality to your clients. You have to enjoy the journey and be kinda analytical to your work. If your goal is having an art commission, so don't leave things to come by itself, cause it might never come. You gotta gather some data on the market and what draws people attention the most. Something to mention that helped me a lot is being honest with clients and also patient. So you gotta listen carefully to deliver a quality that make them satisfied. Being fast and precise with delivering helps a lot because most of the time clients have more than a commission in their mind. But with you working fast and efficient, you don't give them that much time to think about others. Most of people don't like to change since you already satisfy their needs. Also work progressively, like Sketch them first, then give it to the client to review. Line art, then another review. Flag colors if possible, and then review again. Then deliver the product. This way, you will make them engaged to the process so they won't think that much about time. They will think more about the quality you provide. And they will be even more satisfied. Don't make it as a homework that you must do, so enjoy. Don't downsell or oversell your 
prices. And it comes by researching and gathering data about other artists and also the market. If you don't know, just ask. You will find people that like to help without any payback. Finally, it is not just about your first commission, it is about being consistent and always seeking for improvement and for more to come hopefully. So thank you so much and enjoy the rest of this drawing.